Iowa City, Iowa. The University of Tennessee at Martin women's basketball squad had an uncharacteristically off-shooting night this evening, dropping a 72-45 decision to Patriot League champion Holy Cross in the NCAA tournament first four at Carver Hawkeye Arena. The Skyhawks conclude the 2023-24 campaign with a 16-17 overall record. UT Martin shot 26.2%. 16 for 61, from the floor while the Crusaders made 10 of their season-high 12 three-pointers in the first half. All 10 Skyhawk players who dressed out saw playing time in UT Martin's first NCAA tournament appearance since 2014. I was worried about the seniors for Holy Cross and their system. They're a very good team, Skyhawk head coach Kevin McMillan said. We looked a step slow and as out of sync as have seen us since mid-January and I take full responsibility for that. I wish we had looked like we did in the Ohio Valley Conference Tournament. I thought the big break would help us but it didn't. Anaya Brown led UT Martin in scoring for the 12th time this season, collecting 15 points while tying a team high with 6 rebounds. Kenley McCarn scored 12 points with 6 rebounds and 3 steals while Love Mays, 10 points, scored in double figures for the sixth time this season while snaring 6 rebounds. Lexi Rubel was the fourth Skyhawk to tie a team high with 6 rebounds. Every time I've asked these kids to do something, they've done it, McMillan said. For them to play out of position play 38 minutes a game while battling through injuries and give everything they have for their teammates, they have continually raised the bar. They are great ambassadors for our university and I'm proud to be associated with them. They're upset now but at some point it'll sink in what they were able to do this year. If we could use this experience as a springboard, we could be really good for the next two to three years. The Crusaders, 21-12 were led by Kara McCormack's 24 points while Brona Power Cassidy added 15 points. Gallery. March 21, 2024. WBB vs Holy Cross, NCAA first four after a Holy Cross three-pointer opened the game scoring, a McCarn floater at the 749 mark of the first quarter got the Skyhawks on the scoreboard. Brown scored UT Martin's next four points trimming the Skyhawk deficit to two points with six minutes remaining in the first quarter. The Crusaders responded with an 8-0 run and eventually took a 22-13 advantage after 10 minutes. Holy Cross began the second quarter with three consecutive threes before a short jumper by Brown ended the run. Mays scored five of UT Martin's nine points down the stretch in the second quarter as the Skyhawks trailed by a 45-24 margin at the intermission. Mays and Brown each had eight points at the break to pace UT Martin while McCormick, 18 points, and Power Cassidy, 11, were each in double figures in the scoring column for the Crusaders. Brown accounted for five of the Skyhawks' eight points in the third quarter.